Hi guys, I'm still in wonderful Tokyo with my friend Melody. Hey guys. And today we're going to discover the Harajuku part of Shibuya. Right, it's a lot of pop culture, music, fashion, food, you name it. So let's go explore. So what's Harajuku famous for? Hawaii is a word, maybe you've heard of it before. It means cute, adorable, any of that sort in Japanese. Kawaii. Yeah, and that kawaii culture is a huge part of Japan. So I think this whole area is about having cutesy, quirky, fun things. You can literally find anything here. Over here we have a shoe place, if you want to check it out. Yes. Platforms are really in right now, so you can see there are chunky heels over there. Look Check at that out. Books. Oh my god, I wonder if I can pull that off. <laughs> That's really nice. This is like very... It's like a mix of feminine and like rock. Yes. This is fun. I like it because a lot of stuff in Japan is customizable. Oh my god. Wow. Look <laughs> at that. This is like a... It's a very cool space cat. I love the store. <laughs> I just like feel like if I dress up and all of this, I'm going to be like in a dreamland. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. So the thing about Harajuku is it's not just about like girly, cutesy mm -hmm. stuff. It has a bit of an edge to it. So it's a little bit of grunginess. Um, you can see all these different designs. A lot of them are really out there, but yeah. it's all about like enjoying fashion here in Japan. It doesn't feel like you know, it's like, it's cool. Mm -hmm. it's Sometimes really cool. you just kind of want to have fun with fashion. You don't want to go with the basic basics. So oh. if you're that person, then here it is. <laughs> this definitely has character. I like this one, actually. I do. Oh, it's, because, I, I like the little I mean, a lot of things look. are really like, whoa, but this one, it's like, it's more me. It's like <laughs> gentle, yeah, and there's like a surprise. It is, there's it is. There's a cat there. I love the blue eyes and the cat yeah. and the whole space sort of. And I think, Fine, like, Scott. if you actually if you mix this up with more like casual plain clothing, it's really cool. I found something that's gonna match the cat jacket. <laughs> that and is look perfect. at these. Oh, okay. that's actually really nice. Yeah. Look Wait, at show them the other side. It's got like a nice. <gasps> chain yes, to that's it. true. And there's one. Look, pick up the white one. Oh. Okay, so this one would be more kawaii, I guess. And this is more like gothic. This thing. Look at that. Oh, I love this. There is a fluffy unicorn jacket. <laughs> it really is like really magical in here. It's like nostalgic, right? If I would wear this, I would like give myself hugs all day long. <laughs> okay, and now I see what you mean with edgy. Like, mm -hmm. look at this. It's a teddy bear, but it's like a rock teddy bear. Yeah, it's like skeleton yeah. style. So. I think that section in general, it's like the color theme changes. You have like, yeah. Yeah. Teddy bears, but like tough teddy bears. Yeah, so this whole section back here is more like rock, punk, gothic. Yeah, look at this strawberry. But again, a hint of kawaii. I'm feeling so Harajuku right now. <laughs> Can we go look at more things? Yes. Okay. Let's find more. Oh my god, something smells amazing. Right, so this is a place to get a lot of great sweets in okay. Japan too. And there is actually a crepe place right there. Very oh popular. God. Endless option. So, do you want to try one out? Yes, actually, it doesn't just smell good; it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Presentation look. here. This is like a big variety. Is this <laughs> ice cream? Yeah, there would be like ice cream, whipped cream. Like I guess these kind of flavors you could find in like the states if you wanted to. But like matcha, any of the cutesy ones, the colorful ones are very Harajuku. I think there's way more options over there too. So. Oh my God. Yeah. More options? I don't know what to take. <laughs> look, look, there's a matcha cheesecake. There's a matcha cheesecake. There's matcha and what? cheesecake. Oh my god. That's in both worlds. So we're gonna share one matcha, Japanese matcha and cheesecake crepe. And I'm also getting a bubble tea, teppanyaki bubble tea. Arigato. This is huge, you guys. It's like, oh my god. Check it out. <laughs> Oh wow! There is a cake in there. Yes, there is you can like see a, a cake right there. This is a cheesecake. We gotta be really careful when eating this, right? This is the bubble tea, guys. It has like these balls of tapioca. I heard that it's healthy for you, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Come Cheers. Come Come by. Come by. Come by. Oh, mm. it's very nice. It's sweet but nice. Mine too, it's like not an overpowering kind of sweetness, which I like about Japanese okay. sweets in general. So it's like matcha mm -hmm. flavor. 
Definitely Marco style. Mm. Mm. I'm spotting something very kawaii. Mm -hmm. Certainly. So this is the Sanrio store mm -hmm. in Harajuku. So the most popular character is like Hello Kitty. I'm sure you guys know. Some cute little knickknacks everywhere. Oh, oh, oh. Who is this yellow guy? He's got like a whole cafe in his honor. He exactly. must be famous. Yeah, so his name is Pom Pom Pudding. Pom Pom, Pom Pudding. Pudding. Yeah, and he's a Sanrio character, so kind of like the same Hello Kitty family. Ah. And so there's a lot of like puddings, I'm assuming, on the menu because he's actually, as you can see, colored just like a pudding. And it also comes in his name too, Pom Pom Pudding. Pom which is pudding, pudding. in English, ah. so. Yeah, let's check out the menu. I think there's like lunch and also desserts. Yeah, so there is a curry, a colorful floral curry. There's an omelet, omuraisu, uh, what's this? A roast beef dong, which is like beef on top of rice. This that. looks so special. And plus this says that it's a uh, Harajuku Gente, which means that you can only get this in Harajuku. Oh. So well, I feel like this is the one we should get. Oh, we have to get, take it. So this is the yogurt drink. <gasps> oh my Look god. Look at that. <laughs> so that out. is the dream parfait. Layers on layers on layers. Strawberry, blueberry, pink. Blue, wow, okay. This is like <laughs> cuteness overload. Oh, it smells like candy. Kampai! Whoa! Oh Aww. my god! That That's is... a huge cotton candy. Yeah, I think I've seen it before in pictures. Do you want to go get it? Yeah, let's have a look. This is Harajuku Rainbow Cotton Candy. It's a cotton candy dog bag, so if you don't finish it, you can put it here and take it home. It's like she puts different colors in. Yeah. There's like pink, green, orange, violet, turquoise. Mm -hmm. It's like art. It's actually a lot bigger than I imagined. Okay. Arigato. Arigato Look at that. It's, like it's almost like a hat, right? I know. It's like... <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Okay, go for it. Uh, are you gonna bite into it? <laughs> you just met a big, a big indent in the cotton candy. Oh are you supposed to, you're supposed to, aren't you supposed to go like this? No? I know, but this is so much more fun. Guys, I've had the sweetest and the cutest day ever. Thank you, Melody. Oh, Thank you for having me as well. It was so much fun. Thank you. Speaking of, what is the cutest thing you have ever seen? Comment below and the winner is gonna get this kawaii chopstick and spoon set. And make sure to come back and watch the next episode where Angelina is going to discover Chicago. Bye! Bye